actually doesn't look too shabby. Let's go ahead over here and take a little look at how this is doing. Let's see some food. There we go. That doesn't look too shabby at all. What's going on everybody? Tony from Taft Plays here and we are in episode number two of the Minecraft Let's Play series. And that's right. And as you can tell, I have stuff happening behind us because I did a little bit of mining, just a little bit, and got some stuff because in today's episode we're going to be building our starter house. Uh, which should be interesting because I cleared out this spot right here between these four torches and I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do for it, but we're going to figure it out. But first we got to go down into the mine because I have to show y'all what I did while I was offline. So we are still back in the town. I wanted to make a decent house to fit with the village. Uh, so that's what we're going to do, but we're going to add a little bit of a Tony twist to it uh, whenever we uh, get it going. Let's kill this guy first because he, he does not look like he wants to be my friend and I don't play that game. Get down there. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, God. He almost knocked me in. We are... Wow, we're starting this episode off right. There we go. Yeah. Oh, my God. The zombie went down there. I had two villagers just hanging out down there, and a zombie apparently went down there and decided to eat their lunch. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. You know what? <laughs> really? We're supposed to be trying to build a house. Okay, let me kill off these guys real quick. And then we'll go down there. I gotta eat food. Um, I'll go down there and attempt to show y'all what I did. So two villagers decided to fall into the into the ravine, which I turned into a mine. And um, apparently they turned my villagers that I had hidden down there into zombies. So funny story, they can actually do that now. Uh, zombies will turn. Well, I don't know if they've always been able to do it, but they can do that. They can turn your villagers into zombies themselves. Well, oh my god, that is just a whirlwind of I don't want to get down there. All right, and let me get out of that little pool of water. Look at that. That is insane. You know, eventually, whenever we, uh, I'm, eventually we're gonna start using that brewing stand, and I'm gonna make some uh, some potions so we can heal these guys. But for now, we will just kill them and collect that XP. Ow! Look at these. Why are you gonna hit me, bro? You were just trying to trade with me 20 minutes ago. Okay. Now we can kill this guy, and then I can show y'all what we did in the mine. <laughs> and how we got the other uh, materials that we did. Okay, so like I said earlier, I... Oh, I need to carve out a little bit of this, because I'm still bumping my head as we go down. So, I <coughs> went ahead and put stairs down in here in the mine, just so, you know, it was easier to get up. We're not using as much saturation and food to get in and out of the mine. So we got stairs, which is awesome. It also makes it a lot quicker. Um, I pretty much cleaned those out and brought everything upstairs, so that's good. But um, I expanded the room just a little bit and uh, kind of started strip mining a little bit here. Um, didn't find any diamonds yet, surprisingly, so maybe later on in this episode or the next episode we'll come up with some diamonds. But for right now, we're going to take this all the way back up. I'm going to find a bed to sleep in. Oh, I put a bed in the... Uh, I put a bed in the blacksmith shop so we can, which is like literally right here, so we could jump over here and get some shut eye. And then we are going to start work on the house. So I'm pretty, pretty excited about it. Welcome back. Good morning, everybody. Uh, we are back out here. And like I said, this is the area between these torches is where I want to build at least the start of my house. And I mean, since we are in a gigantic super tall birch forest over here we're gonna be working with birch because oh my god a zombie just lit me on fire because why not so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna line up a crap ton of these birch uh logs right here and i am going to shave them down with the right click and the axe just like this because the rest of the village did it and also i like this texture a lot better than the striped birch i do like the striped birch don't get me wrong um, but I just think it would look a little bit funky on the outside of a house. And I regret already <laughs> putting these over the top of that pathway because I'm going to have to remake the pathway. But you know what? Later on, we're going to make the, we're going to remake that pathway anyway. And it's going to look a lot nicer than a bunch of just dirt paths. All right. So don't hate on me just yet. We got plenty of episodes to go. And I broke my axe. Way to go, Tony. All right, let's go get this axe rebuilt. <laughs> 
We're gonna need. I I project us needing several of these throughout the course of the episode. Could be wrong, but you never know. We'll find out. Okay. I think we'll go one more row, one more full row, and that should be enough for us to uh, at least get through the house building project. <clears throat> there we go. Kind of strip all of these things down just like that, and chop them up. <laughs> So we're gonna go ahead and get all these things chopped up and then we will start work on the house. And we are done chopping wood. Thank goodness. <coughs> that that was a lot. <laughs> that was a lot. Okay, so I'm going to place one of these bad boys down here just to kind of mark out the outside of where we are going to do this house. Right there and right there. So something else I wanted to show you guys, it was pretty funny. So I was carving out sand over here so I can make some glass and glass panes. And I almost fell down into that hole. That's a really weird hole. I don't know where it came from, but we're gonna check it out real quick. Okay, I thought it was gonna be like a ravine or something cool, but it's not. So let's swim up to the top and let's get back into this house. Okay, so what I'm gonna wanna do, um, let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I miscounted. Oh well, who cares? Okay, so what I'm gonna want to do is I'm gonna want to go. We'll test it out with four high right now. I think that's a safe bet. Hopefully, I don't continue to hurt myself. So we'll start it out with a uh, four high, and then we'll see how that works out for us. If it looks kind of funky, then uh, that's totally fine. I was trying to aim for water there. I that was a gross miscalculation. There we go. And then I'm going to do some cross beams. Yeah, we'll do some cross beams right here. And actually, I think what would look pretty cool is if we didn't do the cross beams out of this. Let me see if I still have some. If I had if I still have some, this can actually look pretty cool. Um do I? Oh, not enough. Okay, never mind. How does this look? Let's see. No, that that looks completely stupid. I don't know why I didn't just do that. <laughs> So I was gonna do, I was gonna use oak for it, but that didn't look the way I wanted it to. So we'll just keep with what we're using right now. Uh, I think that would work better. I know this is gonna be a bit of a longer house, but eventually, and I don't know if I wanna do it now or if I wanna do it a little bit later, but I might wanna build it up and make it taller. But for right now, this is uh, what we're gonna go with. I know it's gonna be at least two floors, so that's gonna be good. So I need some doors. That's what I'm gonna need next. Uh, definitely gonna need some doors. So we're gonna make them, of course, we're gonna make them birch to kind of match with everything. Boom, there we go. Nice. Okay, so let's kind of carry on with what, so we got our basics here. Now, let's see, what do we have? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, and this is gonna be a door here. And I'm gonna, actually we're gonna make that on the inside cause I don't like it right there. So it's gonna be four here and then a door. I was thinking possibly double doors, but I haven't made that decision 100% yet. So that door is gonna open and close like this. And that's gonna give this a little bit of depth. And then actually what I'm gonna do, yeah, so watch this. Okay, so I got some stuff cooking over here. We got some stone cooking, we got some glass cooking. I thought I had more, there it is. Okay, we have more stone, good. So what I wanna do is I wanna make, just for right now, a couple stone bricks because we're gonna be using those. And I'm going to pop those right there for now and right there for now, just so everything looks decent because I don't want it to look like total trash. I mean, it can look partially like trash, but not totally like trash, if you know what I mean. So how are we going to do this? So the biggest thing is the outer wall. So I know we got one, two, three, four. So we could do all right, a single window here, 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 and here. And everyone else in the town, because we're gonna kind of draw a little bit of inspiration from the town, but we're gonna make it look a little bit different. So we're gonna use, definitely gonna use some cobblestone, but we're gonna mix it up a little bit. So for right now, I'm gonna take this cobblestone and we're gonna lay it out so Let's see, I wanna do that right here and there. We'll do one there. That's gonna be a window. 
and I think we might, I'm not sure exactly, we'll figure it out. So I'm going to make it kind of proportionate, but not really. And then I'm going to throw a stone brick there and a stone brick there. Just to kind of mix it up a little bit, because you don't want it looking too, too uniform, I guess is the way that I want to say that. There we go, like that. And then we'll go actually the opposite this way. Oh, you know what? No, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Um, cobblestone. Yeah, that looks decent. Okay, and then on this side, oopsies, not like that. And actually, yeah, definitely not like that. So we're gonna go pop, 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 and pop. There we go. So what I'm gonna do. Let's see, I think I'll do window, 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 window. Like that. No, actually, I'll do a window here and a window here. I think that would be the best bet. So we got some glass panes. Pop those like that. Yeah, right there and right there. And then we're going to just build that up with cobblestone on each side of it like that. Yeah, that'll work. And then let's go with some normal stone and some stone brick here. And we're going to go there, kind of mix up the materials we're going to use. There, there, and there. And then stone brick, stone brick, cobblestone, stone. Okay, that actually looks a little funky. <laughs> I don't know how I like that. It'll work out. I think it'll work. With what I'm planning on doing, I think that could possibly work. Let me see what this is going to look like. Just just curious. We're just kind of freehanding it right now, guys. Don't get mad at me. Actually, that looks a lot better, I think. Or should we go with oak? That's the question. Let's try with oak over here. I think the oak might actually look a lot better. Definitely looks a lot better. Okay, new plan. The beams are gonna be oak. <laughs> That's the good thing about Minecraft is once you put something down, it doesn't have to be stable, or it doesn't have to be uh, permanent. You can always mix it up. And I think we're gonna have just enough oak for this. Yeah, we are. One, two, and three. All right, so that's going to be the bones. And don't worry about this right here, guys. This is going to this is gonna show, but not as much as you think, I think. So we'll see. No, no promises. We'll see. If we don't like it, we'll change it. We'll go chop down some more oak trees. So let's go ahead and get these walls built up a little bit. Oh, I don't like that. That, that looks weird. Okay, so let's see if we got any more any more stone cooking over here. If not, then we will get some more cooking. Yep, definitely go get some more cooking. Ah, uh, there we go. Okay. Make some more stone brick. Just like that. Yep, perfect. And let's get these walls built up. As soon as I get these walls built up built up, then uh we're gonna we're gonna get it moving again. Alright. So we are here at the last little bit right here. So I'm gonna just kind of fill this up a little bit, make it look not too crazy. And once we get this done, we're gonna go through and we're gonna go ahead and carve out where we want the windows to go. Cause as of right now, I'm not exactly sure other than right here. So we got one, two, three. So I'm thinking the windows on this side are gonna pop in. Oop, what am I doing? I have an ax here and here which we gotta keep that proportionate there and there. And then, you know what I wanna do? We're gonna do, just for right now, the same thing here. But I have an idea, possibly, for later on. It's not set in stone yet, get it? Because we're working with stone, let me stop. Okay, uh, excuse me, I burped. Okay, so let's get this. these windows popped in here, here, and again here and here. So at least we're safe inside of here. So let's see if we could do something, do a little bit of terraforming right here for right now. No promises in on what exactly we're going to do with this a little bit later, but this is just an option that I'm going to come back to and revisit uh, later on.
Okay, so... <coughs> Alright, let's get inside here. Look at these things glitching in the window. <laughs> okay, there they go. They went out. Okay, so let's see. We got 47 stone brick left. I want to say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. And we have 48 of those, so that's going to be perfect. So let's dig out the floor and replace all of that with stone brick. And there we go. All right, so let's lay down the stone brick now. Oops. Got to fix that. <laughs> Got to make sure that we don't uh, kind of overdo it a little bit like that because that was a little bit ridiculous. There we go. There we go. And let's chop this guy back off here. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we need to make it, let's see, so I want this three high. This is definitely going to be three high. So let's go with, okay, I want to, no, you know what? I don't need to use those, so we're going to do this. And then this is actually, no, let's do this. I have a better idea for it. So I'm going to take these, and we're going to make a bunch of planks. Because this is going to give us just a little bit more headroom than what we would normally have. So these planks are going to come across the top. Oopsies. Not like that. Or sorry, we're going to make some slabs. And these slabs are going to go all the way across the top. And these are going to mark the where the uh, second floor is actually going to be. Just like this. There we go. And I'm going to get up there by... See, should I now here's the question is I don't know if I want to do stairs or if I want to do a ladder but I think let's see in order to get up there I'll have to do one two and three actually no because I want to at least one to stand on so the third is gonna have to go here which means the stairs are gonna have to go in front of that door so yeah we're gonna use a ladder definitely gonna have to use a ladder to do it unfortunately um, but let's light this place up just a little bit there we go. And, I mean, using a ladder, it's not that big of a deal at all. So let's just make a ladder real quick. I know all this clicking has got to be killing you guys because it's killing me too. There we go. Back in here, close that off because we're going to have some mobs spawning out there pretty soon. And I think the second floor is going to go... I'll just do it right here. I think this is the best way to do it. So we'll pop this off go and now we could come up here and then we'll be able to jump onto the second floor I think that'll work okay so now we have to start building the roof and as you see every roof in here is all just normal wood stairs so I want to do something a little bit different I'm gonna utilize a lot of cobblestone here when I do this because I'm gonna give the roof a little bit of a skirting on it and by skirting I'll show you what I mean right here okay so how I'm going to do this is the front, of course, is going to be here. So I'm going to pop this guy here like that. Actually, do I want to do it like that? No, I don't. I want to do it the other way. I think the other way will look better. So we will go there and there. Kind of give it just a little bit of an overhang like that. And we're going to do that on both sides. And this is going to start us off where we want to be. So here, there, come across here, and there. I probably shouldn't be doing any of this at night, but we're risk takers, okay? Okay, so we're going to go there, and then this one is actually going to go there, and this one is going to go here. I really hope this doesn't look too funky, <laughs> because this house is uh, a lot longer here than it is wide, but mm, I don't know. It might be okay. It might be okay. <laughs> if it looks funky, it's okay. It's just our starter house. There. Okay. Not too bad. Now let's kind of pull her up a little bit. And let's get on this roof. And then we are going to alternate. Boom. 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 Come on up. Boom. And boom. So I don't want to go too far. If you go too far first, then uh, then you kind of have issues. You, you run into issues later on. You'll have more on one side than the other, and then everything just kind of looks weird. 
So what I want to do is I want to take these stairs right here, these birch stairs, because I think this will look pretty neat. Pretty neat. Like that. Yes. Ooh, that was ugly. <laughs> and we're going to pretty much cap off the entire roof right here. That's the easiest way I found to do it. And we messed up at the very last stair. <laughs> there we go. So this is what it looks like now. All right, so now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna jump down here and take a look at how this is looking and I'm gonna eat food because I keep hurting myself. That actually doesn't look too terrible, believe it or not. I thought it would look a lot worse. Okay, so I'm going to go through and I'm gonna cap the roof off with a, let me get it. Do I have it? I don't have it. Okay, I gotta make it. <laughs> there we go. Oh, not enough. There we go. Let's get a couple of these guys. I always make more than I need, but it's okay. That's what we're supposed to do. It's Minecraft. It's not actual construction. Okay. And we're gonna cap this thing off with some cobblestone. So I'm gonna do this right there, and then I'm gonna get rid of this right there. Hang on. Whoa, not yet. Okay, I'm not gonna do it just yet. I need to do this. Mistake number 500. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna pop this guy here, pop this guy here, and this is where we're gonna cap it off like that. And then we're going to get rid of that. That looks funky, doesn't it? Yeah, just like that. Okay, so there. Jump over here, there, and then we're gonna cap it off like that. Nice. So we can come back to our stairs over here and go one more across the top here and one more on the other side as well. Now we are going to take these slabs and we're going to come right across the top just like this. Yeah, okay. So now what we need to do is we need to go on the inside and we need to do a little bit of work there as well. And this is where we're going to get some plank action coming in. Because this is where it's actually going to start looking a little bit decent. I think. I hope it's going to look decent. It might be ugly as not. Ooh. Well, that's not helpful, is it? All right. So it looks like I'm going to have to move this ladder to somewhere else. Because that's not in a functional spot. Boop. So the ladder is actually going to come right here. It's going to look a little funky, but it'll get the job done. Perfect. All right, so let's get that ladder back here. One, two, three, and four. So much more functional. Okay, so now I'm going to start laying these things out. Just like this. Um, I'm going to get one up there. I'm going to carve out the windows in just a minute because we're going to have a nice little view out of, out of some windows over here, so don't worry. I just gotta do a little bit of, uh, I don't wanna say math because math scares me, but I gotta do a little bit of uh, seeing how it's gonna work out. There we go. Oopsies. Get this kind of built up right here. And then we are gonna cover all of these, uh, I'm not gonna say mistakes, but happy little accidents. All right, so this is gonna be our second floor slash roof area. Look how the sun is just coming through these planks. That is crazy looking. So I'm gonna pop that there for now and pop that for, there for now. <coughs> so I think what I'm gonna do is I wanna bring, let me see how this is gonna look real quick. And these, you know what? These are gonna just be big open bay windows. I think this is gonna be pretty cool. So if I do bring it down to there, like that and then we're gonna do the same thing over here I need to leave that there bring it down to here and then across the bottom to here like that yeah and then we can look out there and we'll be able to look out here I think that'll work so up here on the top floor I think we're just gonna use the, the glass blocks just to make it uh, a little bit better like this and also I have more of them so <laughs> we're gonna do it just like that and that is gonna be the second floor for now 
And this is gonna be the first world. Let's go outside and see what it looks like. Hopefully it doesn't look completely dingy. All right, so that actually looks decent. That looks pretty good as well. That's not too shabby. We are going to start doing just a little bit of work on the outside. Just to make it just look a little bit better. Give it just a little bit more um, touch to it. Kind of like this. There we go. Just a little bit more. And then this side is going to stay the same for now. And then on this side, i got to have these upside down the window. Boom, boom, and boom. <coughs> so now... Let's come over here. I'm curious to see if there's any clay at the bottom of this stuff. Because if there is, then, uh, oh, there is. Check it out. All right. So let's dig this clay out right here. Because this is going to be help, really helpful in a little bit of the aesthetics that we're going to have going on over here. I'm going to pop this clay right into there. And we're going to burn this out. There we go. So as that clay is cooking, I'm going to kind of kind of terraform that just a little bit more there we go so let's kidnap our bed and we're going to bring that in here and of course the bed is going to go on the second floor because i mean why would you have that on the first floor that's just crazy we're gonna pop that here and then the crafting table is going to go right in the middle right here there we go and let's take some of these bricks and we are going to go like that little flower pot and these flower pots are going to go on the window seals like that, like that. And we're going to pop in a little dandelion on the outside. Nice. And we're going to do that on that window seal, on these two as well. And uh, I was going to do it here, but I don't think that would work out too well. Cool. So now what we're going to need to do is we need to bring in a bunch of chests. <coughs> Not these chests, because we're using those at the moment. But we are about to make more chests. And since we have a wide abundance of this birch material over here, we're going to make a bunch of chests just for inside the house for right now until we actually get a good storage unit or storage system going on. So let's see, kind of fill this area out a little bit. We're going to pop a double, ooh, a double chest there. No, I don't like that. We're going to get rid of these torches. And we're going to do something better. So we're going to do a double chest here double chest there, a double chest here, and a double chest here. And that's going to make it to where we can actually have some functionality in here. And then we're going to come back for the rest of the stuff that we're going to add in here a little bit later. So there we go. Let's kind of get these out. There we go. Pop a couple of these guys. And what I will do here so, yeah, I, I will do that. So let's see how this is going to look. No promises. This isn't permanent. This is temporary. One, two, three. Oopsies. So we're going to test this out. A little overhang there. Doesn't look too shabby. Not at all. Okay. And then we're going to do a little bit of one right there. Nice. And then I'm going to... pillar up here and then we're gonna pop one flower pot there boom kind of get rid of that get rid of that get rid of that and pop it back down I need one more flower <laughs> I just found out that I have one more flower that I'm missing I'll do a red one we kind of mix it up a little bit and then we are going to pillar up right on here 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 and fall okay that'll work so I will go down here oops and there. <laughs> and then I'm gonna pop this flower pot there and put this guy right there yeah everyone can watch me sleep that's kind of creepy but who cares we have built our just our little starter house within the village and it doesn't look too bad at all. It doesn't look too bad at all. So we need to claim this house. So I'm going to pop. You know what we're going to do? You know what we're going to do? We're going to do this right here. And we're going to throw some of these here. And we're going to make some lanterns. 
because I want the world to know that this is my house. This isn't y'all their house. This is my house. So I'm going to, can I hang these here? No, I can't. So what I'll do is I'll put them right here, here, there, and there, and lantern there. There, 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 and then we will pop one here just to give some light over here. I thought we got that done. Yeah, that actually doesn't look too shabby. Let's go ahead over here and take a little look at how this is doing. Let's see some food. There we go. That doesn't look too shabby at all. I like that. All right, so now we have our starter house. Not too bad, not too bad. <coughs> and then, of course, we can't have just a crap walkway. You know, we, we can't stand for that here. We can't stand for that at all. So our walkway is going to look a little bit better than everyone else's because it's ours. And we want everyone to know that this is our area. And my shovel broke. Okay, so I put these holes here just so we could kind of fill these in um, to make it look semi-decent, almost like, uh, you know, kind of like how their pathways are all jacked up <laughs> whenever you're coming up onto the village. That's kind of the, uh, the look we're going for here. There we go. And then we're going to bust right into our full-on walkway here, just like this. There we go. So we got the outline basically done. So now we're going to come through here and we're just going to fill this in with this stone brick. Kind of give it this cool little texture going on. Just like that. Boom, 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 boom. And we are done with our own little walkway. And you know what? I'll help them out and I will just throw a little wood stair in here just like that. So there we go. Now we have the walkway in front of our starter house and everything is looking pretty decent at this point. So we are going to take all of this stuff out. I don't care what's cooking or what's not because I'm over here invading everybody's space. So let's scoop all that stuff up. And all of our furnaces are gonna be here on the bottom floor. We got six total, so we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, and six. There we go, pretty functional little house. There we go, now we have our little starter house. And this is going to be a good little place for us to come chill, hang out, go to sleep, and all that other stuff. All right, guys, we have finished our starter house, and it doesn't look too bad. There's a couple more things that I'm going to end up doing with it a little bit later. I want to put, like, a brick chimney on it, but I need to find a lot more. Um, I need to find a lot more clay so we can make it into bricks and then make it into a chimney. And then what we'll do is we'll put a campfire in it, make actual smoke come out. It's going to be pretty cool, but that's going to be in a future episode. Guys, I hope you had a really, really, really good time. I want to give a special shout out to all of our patrons. We have Chloe's Life, Eliza Stevens, JJ General, One Arcade, Darth Rick, and Aaron Smith. Thank you guys so, so much for coming out hitting our Patreon account, and helping support this channel and our arcade channel. You can check us out on Patreon if you want to help support the channels at www.patreon.com slash the arcade dad. Speaking of the arcade dad, if you like arcade games and want to know how to jackpot the arcade games at the arcade, then definitely go check out our main channel. The link is going to be in the description below, at, and it is youtube.com <coughs> slash the arcade dad. Guys, if you had a good time and you like this video, give this video a big fat thumbs up. Smash that subscribe button and bell notification icon if you want to see more from our channel and get notified of future videos. And as always, guys, make sure to keep on gaming and have a great day. Peace.